this homestand against the Minnesota Twins. And his first pitch is fouled back. As per usual, catching Justin Verlander. Ground ball just fouled. Verlander getting ahead of a rise out of four to the Texas Rangers at home in their last series. This ball popped in the shallow left. Bregman going out, and Pena calls him off. Jordan gives way. Born to Carlos Correa. He has not faced Justin Verlander since Verlander was a Tiger. And but facing him for the first time in five years. Rounds a foul. It's 101. Takes a pitch on the outside corner, one and two. And that is a call third strike. JB dots it up on it. That was some nice pitching right there. <laughs> and that first pitch just missing off the plate field in early May, May the 10th. Correa, if you remember, wasn't on the active roster back then for go. That one's a strike. Verlander making his 22 went five innings and allowed three runs. That one drops a little bit low with a curveball and Polanco. Swings with that pitch and fouls it away. Swing and a miss. Justin Verlander starts off this game with a been one of the steady cogs in the middle of this Twins lineup. Cleanup hitter who has kind of taken over. Yes. 13th time in the cleanup spot for Miranda as he chops one foul. That one out of play. Stays 0 2. With all these off days in a six man rotation. This one popped high in the air, shallow left. In fact, it's now in foul territory for Jeremy Pena, who will put it away. Game five walk off in 2020. Nick Gordon, the batter, taking one inside for a ball, one and one. 333 on that home stand. Minnesota scoring just six runs against the Texas Rangers in that four game. She's the lowest. Run total since 16 in a four-game series for Minnesota. This one gets away from Maldonado. It's a strikeout for Verlander. But Nick Gordon's going to be the... Kepler around a bunt. Takes a strike. Max has had all kinds of trouble against Justin Verlander. Verlander with those three strikeouts now tying Pedro Martinez. 14th all time in major. Just a piece to stay alive. That means he couldn't have had any starts where they were equal. Right now he's up three to nothing in strike. I think the reason he's in the lead by that much is because he's one of the few good fastball to strike out Max Kepler. And that pitch right there. Shella takes a pitch down for a ball. Strikeout total from his last start over seven innings against the White Sox. That one's up 2-0. Oh. Putra facing Chicago and Atlanta. Teams they're playing in desperation mode here with about four. Right hip injury. Goes on the IL today. Swing and a foul tip caught by Maldonado at three. Not be counting these strikeouts like he was in the past, even with the five that he already has tonight. But he is very content with getting those quick outs. TK, you mentioned in this earlier, just but does take a lot of pride in the fact that he can work. First start, that's second most in the American League. His teammate Fromber Valdez right behind Verlander, the only guy they getting a lot of innings pitched per start. 22 starts and 143 innings coming into today. His career against JV with five strikeouts. As he fouls one back, it's two and two. Pull down, the count goes full. Call third strike. Cave took one near the knees, and Justin Verlander has six strikes. Here's Gary Sanchez. He takes a strike.
And a foul tip caught by Maldonado. Verlander quickly. That's definitely what Justin Verlander has done, and it's been effective. Verlander finished last week three strikeouts behind. And a swing and a miss. Verlander moves past Mad Max. <laughs> that's not adapting, that's overwhelming. Now Luis Arise taking one down. Luis has play. And missing just below the zone 2 0. Oh. Chopped off the glove of Verlander. He recovers and his throw in time to get a ride. First pitch fastball in on Carlos Correa. He got his rookie season of 2015 through last year. And you could hear his reaction to that pitch in. How he wants to approach him so far a couple of fastballs in. Maybe he'll stay with the fastball. But he used that fastball. That one popped foul. Maldonado gives it a look and four called strikes. Stays with a fastball just below the zone. Tough pitch for the crit. Stayed with a fastball against Correa. This is bad. And he gets a ground ball to short. The current. Takes the pitch off. A ball towards left, long run for Alvarez towards the line. Now he eases up and puts it away. First time up. Verlander has faced 12 batters late in the third inning. That went down and away, one and one. One hit shutout baseball earlier this year. This ball tap foul, one and two. That was one of his more impressive to the St. Louis Cardinals. One two pitch, just a little tapper. Pitch and Miranda trying to provide a little pop clean up spot, but nobody's really taken hold until Miranda lately. That ball's off the plate, and the count goes full after JV got ahead one and two. Miranda battling, staying in the, the count. It's now three and two. It's such a good slider, three two. Edge and force a panic swing is very nice. The ball hit pretty well to right field, sending Tucker back at the wall, puts it away. Boy, three on the right side of the infield. Gordon, the only one to reach base today for the Twins, and he reached it with a strikeout. I'm through facing his fifth hitter, hasn't struck out any this time around, but he's one and one on Gordon here. A lot this season it has been avoiding the injured list. But they finally decided that this last. Swing and a miss that is number eight for Justin Verlander getting. Kepler showed bunt last time because of his career. Swings at that high fastball and finds himself down in the count 0 and 2. Including JV himself. About this incredible season at age 39 and how in between starts, maybe something he didn't do when he was as hyper focused earlier in his career. And then you add family to it, and there's also all of a sudden you've got a different perspective. Other strikeout of Ke the ball popped high in the air, foul, and out of play, 0 and 1. Round where he is on his start days, obviously hyper focused, but some of kind of change his whole perspective on things. Urshela, the only one to put the ball in play this inning, and he doesn't put it in play with high exit. So cool, Kylo, awesome out there, <laughs> hammered it up. He stole the show. Yeah, he did. And Jake Cave will be the batter. Justin Verlander had about. 8 9 and 1 for JV to face here in the sixth. Cave struck out looking his first time up at half. One way upstairs off the plate. One and upstairs.
upstairs again, two and two. It'll be the first time he's gotten a double figure since July 16th. After going 0 and 2 on Cave, he's gone full, missing with some fastballs. Missed with three fastballs. We'll see what he goes with here, 3 2. Swing and a miss, beat him with a fastball. That's 10 strikeouts against Justin Verlander. Max Kepler now 1 for 23 with 10 strikeouts. Cave 0 for 7 with 7 strikeouts. He, an entire team, have issues with one guy. We expect to sit at home this year. 0 2 on Sanchez. He struck out a season high 12 Mariners. And he struck out 11 on the road. Next one up on the list as he passed both Pedro Martinez and Max Scherzer tonight. Next one up on the list after those guys is Fergie Jenkins. So he could get to Fergie easily this year and then beyond that, probably be next season before he gets to Phil Neal. <laughs> and for now, Max Scherzer. This ball popped up. Maldonado gives it a look, and he's going to have room. Puts it away behind home plate. Sanchez pops. That comeback. 1-0 pitch drops in there for a strike. 1-1. Now it's 1-2. and two. Chops a foul. Rise keeps battling once he gets down to the count. Verlander will make his 90th. Stays one and two. You would imagine. A little cue shot towards Bregman. Alex will make the play, and that'll do it for the Twins.